I found a way to get a 130 bowl handle rating. Now you're probably thinking, how the heck is that even possible, Double H? So drop a like and subscribe to the channel while I explain. First, I'm gonna bring out my two-way three-point shot creator build, which already has a 90 ball handle rating. Now, if I had a build with a 99 ball handle, I would be able to have a 140 ball handle rating, but we don't have that, so we'll go with this for now. Then I'm gonna equip a plus one left arm sleeve and a plus one right arm sleeve, both for my ball handle. And when it comes to badges, my teammate is gonna be running Hall of Fame Floor General, which gives their teammates a boost to their offensive attributes. I'm also gonna be equipping double ankle breaker shots takeover. And if you guys didn't know on next gen, ankle breaker shots is basically the ankle breaking takeover. Now to break this down, if one of these takeovers is activated, it would give a plus eight to all of my playmaking stats. But when both of them are activated, it's gonna give a plus 15 to all my playmaking stats. But not only that, I'm also gonna have the juice perk, which gives an extra boost to your attributes when takeover is activated. So the double takeover and the juice perk all combined is gonna give me a plus 21 to my playmaking stats. And we're not stopping there because my teammate is gonna be running team ratings boost takeover, which is a takeover that boosts its teammates' ratings when activated. Now, one of these takeovers would give a plus four to all of my offensive stats, but when both of them are activated, it's gonna give me a plus seven to all my offensive stats. But he's also gonna be running juice perk as well. So my teammates' double team ratings booster and juice perk is gonna give me a plus 13 to all my offensive stats and not to mention i have unlimited ball handling boost now that doesn't technically affect my ball handle rating but it's something to know and lastly here is a complete breakdown to all the numbers we started with a 90 ball handle rating and after all the things we equipped to boost our attributes we had a total of plus 40 boosted attributes to our ball handle so 90 plus 40 is a 130 ball handle now even though my ball handle rating will never physically show that it is above a 99. Mike Wayne, the gameplay director for 2K, has confirmed in the past multiple times that you can go past these 99 rating limits in game. I also did this same type of video with a 143 point rating and a 140 driving dunk. If you want to go watch those videos, they're on my channel or you can click the links in the description. But without further ado, subscribe to the channel if you're ready for us to break the game and let's get into game number one. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man. Make sure to drop a like if you guys want to see this same video with steel and block ratings. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Like I said, we got the dunk video up. We got the three-point video up. This was our first game testing this out. Now, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I'm going to be showing the updated ball handle rating throughout the game. So, obviously, we had a 90 before the game started. Now, we have a 96 ball handle because of the two arm sleeves and the Hall of Fame floor general for my teammate. Now, me and Jay Curry, my teammate that we were playing throughout here, we were basically, the goal was to get team takeover. Because if we get team takeover, that's the easiest way for me and my teammate to both get double takeover. So you're going to see the team takeover bar in the top right moving um, up as the games go along because that's what we're trying to do. And that's why you're going to see us spamming passes because to get team takeover in this game, you basically just have to get each all the teammates involved when it comes to scoring. you got to spam passes. It's kind of weird. So you're going to see us do that so we can reach that maximum 130 ball handle rating go for some ankle breakers, breakers which you're gonna see me do because that's all we're gonna be doing once we get the takeover because that's what we want to see right i don't know why i shot that that was a bad shot i didn't mean to do that but yeah you see we're playing against these dudes right here it's three to zero we're trying to get the takeovers up you know we missed a couple shots to start it's all good though okay because we got plenty of games trust me you're gonna want to watch every game in this video because this is crazy like we had the 140 dunk rating that was pretty crazy 143 point rating was even crazier let me know what y'all think in the comments if you watch all three videos because i think this 130 ball handle might be even crazier i don't know i don't know but y'all are gonna see what i'm talking about anyways we're spamming passes right here you see clearly the other team figured it out so we got another to so we started to learn that we had to spam these passes like you know more in the backcourt type of thing but he missed wide open so we chilling we get the ball back right here three to three we go back to the passes we're trying to get team takeover as fast as possible now we didn't get it too quickly in this game but eventually a couple games down the line by the second game we figured out how to get it at like 10 12 points uh but even once we get single takeover we're gonna activate it and you're gonna see in the bottom left hand corner our ball handle go up and up throughout the game okay so right now, obviously, the 96 ball handle still because none of us have takeover. The only way our ball handle goes up from now on uh, in this game from 96 is if one of us gets takeover because he has played take. 
I have the ankle breaker take over. You see, we're still spamming passes another turnover. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. We were getting hell in turnovers this game. It was actually bad. It was actually bad. We leave him wide open. He misses again. Dude could not shoot at all, but it's good. We get the ball right here. Easy three. And look at that. Look at the team takeover meter. We're already more than halfway there. We only have eight points scored. So we're chilling. Jay Curry throws me a flashy. I don't know why I was comboing up right here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I throw a flashy back. We're just trying to get the passes in, trying to get this team takeover meter up. I get the ball back right here, eight to three. I, we were trying to score every single time off an assist, uh, but sometimes we didn't get an assist. You see right here, I just scored the three because the shot clock was going down. But we're still getting closer and closer. I almost have single takeover. Once I activate that, that'll help my ball handle rating. If Jay Curry gets takeover, that's going to uh, affect my ball handle rating. So, yeah, especially once I get takeover, I can start to go for ankle breakers, which you're going to see I do start doing it as soon as I get takeover. 11 to 3. They almost got another steal. Like, bro, we were throwing way too many turnovers in this game plan. I tell them to post, shoot a post fadeaway and miss it so we can just get reset the shot clock. We, I get the rebound. And guess what we do? We start spamming the passes again. So, yeah, we were just trying to get team takeover while scoring the least amount of points possible because obviously we want to use the team takeover for multiple possessions, you know, more than just a couple of possessions. But now I activate, activate single takeover plus the juice perk. That's going to be a, a, give me a plus 11 in my ball handle. So now I have 107 ball to the first angle breaker. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting that blue green. Oh my. Yo, that boy was leading. Look at him stumbling. Now he didn't go on the floor. Okay. But he was stumbling out there. So we'll take that as the first ankle breaker of the video with our 107 ball handle with single takeover. Now, Jake, Jake Curry doesn't have take team or takeover. We don't, I don't have team takeover or anything. You see, where is my defender? Like, where is he? I'm literally just going for an ankle breaker. So I think we end up just getting a shot clock violation on purpose because literally the whole possession I was going for an ankle breaker. And what I ended up finding out was it was just hard to get ankle breakers because of this three adrenaline boost that's in the game let me know if y'all think it should be in 2k24 because i had to spam drill moves obviously to go for an angle breaker but i only had like three moves until i have no adrenaline boost so it was kind of tough you know what i'm saying but anyways we get back at it we're going for more ankle breakers i'm trying to just spam the drill moves that do give those ankle breakers there's only like three of them really uh especially this james harden hop step which is gonna give me another ankle breaker here soon but we're passing around we got eight seconds on the clock i go for the oh my <laughs> No, I missed, but look at that. My boy was about to stumble his way into the palm trees. I mean, damn. It's looking bad for my boy. Spill the rip in the comments because I'm sure this man was begging for mercy. He's already got his ankles broken twice. It's getting bad, but you see we get another shot clock because I couldn't get an ankle breaker because, you know, I'm trying to show off this ball handle rating for y'all. We got 140 balls, but look at, he's begging me for the stop. You see that? This dude is begging for me to stop breaking his ankles. Bet that, my boy. Dude in the old white is down bad right now, but it's okay. Because Jay Curry got takeovers. So now we got 114 ball handle rating with both of our takeovers activated, floor general, and the arm sleeves. You see, I don't know what my player was doing out here, but we're, you know, we're trying to reset it right here. The only thing that can increase our takeover is if we get team takeover, which would give a plus 16 all the way to 130 ball handle. But look at I'm just trying to spam drill moves. Now, for whatever reason, in 2K23, ankle breakers just aren't as common I, compared to other 2Ks. You know, you can still obviously get ankles. You see, we get another shot clock trying to get that, you know, ankle breaker clips moments. But I end up uh, losing takeover, but we end up getting team takeover. So it's okay. It goes down to 103, back to 130 ball handle. So we have 130 ball handle rating right here. Can we get our first ankle breaker with it? Oh, my God. He's like, he touching earth. That boy is touching earth with lock takeover. With lock takeover. 130 ball handle don't care that boy got a knee on the ground he got a hand on the ground he is touching earth y'all he's stumbling yo once i got this 130 ball handle team takeover every time i did a move look at he's at least stumbling every single time i did a move now i got no adrenaline though so i'm kind of running out of moves i got no stamina but we ended up finishing the game but that was a crazy game one drop a like if that was wild like, every time we had a drill move going once we reached that 130 limit, he was at least stumbling or he was putting a hand on the floor. I mean, that is crazy. But anyways, getting into game number two, this was a fast one. We got about four games for y'all. Uh, we were playing this dude. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, starting off the game, 96 ball handle rating. We're getting the flashy passes in, just trying to get to team takeover as fast as possible. 
uh, because we want to try to get as many ankle breakers in this video. Okay, I think we've over how many ankle breakers have we got in this video? I think three, three or no, four, actually five. Yeah, we've got five ankle breakers in this video already. It's been it's one game, y'all. One game. But yeah, drop a like on this video right now if you think in 2K24 they should up the ankle breakers. Because I swear in 2K and let me know if this is facts. I swear in 2K20, you know, to, even 2K21 current gen ankle breakers were a lot more common bro like if you get play take you dropping dudes on the ground but look at he's stumbling already be off that behind the back so that's one ankle breaker this this play but look at we still cooking up we trying to get something oh my god where is that boy going from the hash green oh my it's getting crazy out here y'all he's stumbling he don't know what's going on out here we cook it but I hit Jay Curry right here. That gives us team takeover. So now we have 130 ball handle rating. We broke him twice in one play with 114. Oh my God. He's stumbling again. Oh my. No. Don't do it. Yo. I'm out. I'm, I'm here. Oh my. We broke him again. Yo. He touched earth. Another midi. Let's go. That's green. But we really stumbling out of bounce and stuff. Trying to get angle burgers. But we end the game right there. Nothing crazy that game. Obviously, we got a bunch of stumbles. We did make him touch earth. But going into game number three. This is what this was the probably the craziest game of the video. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is crazy because now we know from the first two games, right? You know, you can you can get ankle breakers, but can you get the ankle breakers when it matters? Okay. So first play, I get an assist. Then I start trying to like get middies to like conserve points so we get team takeover fast. I end up getting cold because I missed like three middies. So now when you're cold, all your stats go minus 15. So now I have an 81 ball handle. And it was getting bad. These dudes were rim running like crazy and they were, we couldn't get a block. So you see, he takes a dunk right there. He's telling me I'm too little. Like they were going crazy, y'all. They were really trying to drop us off in this video. Eight to two. I'm cold still. I, I mean, I have a D. I might grade out. It's about to be a D minus. 10 to two. He's got to take over. He pops it a little sneaky. Take grains it. 13 to two. It's looking bad out here, y'all. It's looking bad. I tell Jay Curry to switch it. What do they do? They give it to this other guy. I have him clamp, but no. He gets it back to this guy who has takeover. He's trying to get a dunk, and guess what? He gets another dunk. 15 to 2. We need a miracle out here, y'all. I'm still cold. My ball was at 81. And look at that's what it took to get a stop. These dudes were going up with a dunk no matter what. So I tell Jay Curry back door. We're not going for team take this game. If we get it, we get it. But we got to get this win. So I get off cold. I'm back to that 96 ball handle rating. Jay Curry pops takeover as well. So now I'm up to 103 ball handle rating. It's 15 to 8. You know, we're taking our twos. We're taking our smart shots. I try to spin back. Doesn't work. Jay Curry open three. Doesn't take it. Almost shot that. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Open midi off the flashy. We get it as a go. As you can see, that team takeover meter is starting to go up and up and up. And you already know we got the juice perk. So we ready. 15 to 10. Jay Curry takes the easy. Oh, he missed it though. He missed the lane. Back out to me for three. You already know what color that is. 15, 13, and just like that. We back in it. Okay. I'm not even close to takeover because I was cold the whole game. So it doesn't matter really what I do. I'm not going to get taken unless we get team takeover. So Jay Curry shoot. I don't know what he's shooting. I mean, Jay Curry, do you want us to lose out here? What was he shooting there? 15 and 13 gives him the ball right back. And what do you know? He's going to do what he does best. And that's rim run. 17 16 oh my he's putting it in his face oh nah jay curry you can't take it the disrespect like that wide open three for the win he missed it 19 to 16 can we win this game can we make the comeback official i go off to the three that's green oh my god tie game 19 to 19 i pass it to the activates team takeover we have 130 ball handle right now in the clutch tie game 19 19 nest bucket wins and we have 130 ball handle rating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's he going? Oh my. Not for the win. Not for the win. 130 ball handle rating. Coming up in the clutch. What a game. We came back all the way down 15 to 2. But going into game number four. Drop a like for that comeback, by the way. Going into game number four, we're playing guys who have stars. You know what I'm saying? These dudes play the game. Decently high levels. We're playing some sweats right here. So I hit Jay Curry for the open three. Obviously, we're starting off with that 96 ball handle rating from the arm sleeves and the Hall of Fame floor general. We get right back into it. Another three. Y'all already know if I'm open, bro, I'm not missing the catch and shoots, bro. Like, it's just not happening. I'm too automatic. 
but we start spamming the passes in the backcourt because we knew these dudes were sweating. So we weren't trying to throw turnovers, trying to get this team takeover. And as you can see, we, already have, we only have eight points. And look at our team takeover meter. It's almost complete. I mean, we're locked in. We're spamming the flashes in the backcourt, and these dudes just, they don't know what to do, bro. They're trying to, like, should we come up and read the lane? Should we stay back? Like, they're kind of, they're probably, they were probably so confused on what we were doing. Like, who does this in a twos game? You know, no one does this. Two seconds left, one second left, tries to get the lay, gets the offensive rebound. So now we reset the shot clock. And guess what we going to do? Of course, spam the flashies. Look at the team takeover meter. It's almost completely filled now. Eight to zero, two seconds left, one second left. I'm wide open. I don't know why I didn't shoot that. I take the lay, but it was too late. Shot clock. So we give these guys the ball. Look at this dude. Oh my God. He he was putting on the moves. Now nah, I had to put on the clamps, of course. You know, you already know we had that in our box, but you know, he was really trying to come out here and go crazy. Eight to zero. We're playing good defense. This dude's trying to score now that the other dude's clamped. And I come over with the help defense. That's an easy stop. And Jay Curry throws it right back to him. But it's okay because I get it right back. I got you, Jay Curry. I got you. We go back to the backcourt. We start spamming the passes again because look at our team take over a meter. I mean, it's so close. It is so close. Like, even one of these passes could get us team take. I take the dunk. We, we're, we're really about to jump from a 96 ball handle to 130 as soon as this team takeover pops. And boom, there's the dunk. There's team takeover. 12 to 0. We now have a 130 ball handle. Oh my God. This dude better look out. This dude better look. Oh my. Not the three. Not the three. Give me three! That, nah, that ankle was crazy. Oh my. That was bad. I, I feel sorry for my boy. Uh, But yeah, that was pretty bad. We try to get him with the same move now. I'm getting a crazy amount of stumbles. He's even holding B so he can't get his ankles broken. That's how you know this was stuff was getting a little overpowered to the point where my defender was holding B just so he couldn't get stumbled or broken. Right? So we get right back into it, and oh my, that ain't, hey, hold it, that ain't gonna stop me. Hold it, be not gonna stop me. I got no adrenaline. Let's let's get it to the basics. I can play old head ball, a little post fadeaway, green. Stop playing with me. I can switch up the play styles, blow it 20 to zero. The ankle breakers, the stumbles got so much for these tryhards that they just started flopping, bro. They really gave up, and we ended up winning the game, of course. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and make sure to check out one of the videos on your screen with 140 dunk rating, 140 three-point rating, and it's a video boy, Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.